We're here standing on the campanile of Santa Maria di Fretta Firenze in Florence, Italy. We're looking at Brunelleschi's dome for the church. Il Duomo. Now, Brunelleschi was awarded this commission because he showed a panel of judges that or there was a competition where people had to stand an egg on its on its top but no one could so Brunelleschi broke it in half and in the shape of what the dome would become now Brunelleschi Brunelleschi's dome was a feat of engineering for the time it, it's it's absolutely miraculous that he was able to build something so massive yet so unique to such a flat city and it, it's so tall for the for this valley for this Tuscany valley now it, the tower on top six stories high was actually created after the dome was finished and it's supposed to resemble that each and every person when they go into the church can connect to God the way Mary did and so let's just talk about uh, the dome a little bit more so it was inspired uh, by the Pantheon in Rome as that was probably the most magnificent dome that unless you would have seen it's with its concrete uh, freestanding structure um, it was just a, a marvel of engineering in itself and with the loss of concrete after the fall of the Roman Empire, he had to come up with a new, brand new method of engineering to build this gigantic dome. So what he did was create an octagonal base, and he used uh, a very specific type of arch that bears weight in the most efficient manner possible. He was not just an architect or an artist, he was a mathematician, an engineer, and in a brilliant design that shifts the weight towards these giant marble arches with a hidden inside uh, system of arches all distributing the weight to be as efficient and uh, as possible and again about this top piece it acts as the keystone to the whole structure holding it all <coughs> in place and this is one of the marvels of renaissance architecture do, 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 do.